H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Okay. First thing, first difference is whether uh, which category it belongs to. So the type of command which it belongs to. So you you should know this already. So delete belongs to which type of command? It's DML or DDL or DCL or TCL. So delete belongs to everyone. Please ping in the chat window. Delete belongs to which 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 category? So delete belongs to DML and drop belongs to DDL and and also truncate belongs to DDL. So delete belongs to DML because you are uh, uh, it's a data manipulation language. You are playing around with the data and drop and truncate both are both belongs to DDL data definition language. So now the second one uh, second one is structure of the table. So now in deleting table will be there so table will be there only data can be deleted so table will be there and once you drop it table will not be there okay only here in delete uh, records are getting deleted and table will not be there and in truncate also table will be there so I'm going to tell uh, what is the difference okay and now here uh, the third point is can it be rolled back so imagine you deleted some records. Can we roll back? Can we do a rollback? So in delete, yes, you can roll back. So once you delete some records, you can roll back the deletion if you are doing it in transactions. But drop and truncate both belongs to DDL. So you cannot roll back. You cannot roll back. Okay. Now, one more important point which you have to remember for identity column. Say for example, identity column. Now, when you have an identity column for a table, say for example you have an employee table and you have some five records. So now let me create, uh, let me drop the table. So drop table employee, drop table, uh, drop table student, and then drop table department. So let me remove these tables. So I dropped all the tables. So let me drop again. I should get uh, no object found. So let me create a table create table my check and I'm going to use something called uh, my value I uh, my value integer and I'm giving identity one comma one and my uh, text so where care 20 now say for example I'm going to insert values insert into my check and I'm going to give my text and I'm going to give values I'm giving here uh, Meghna okay now I'm going to add some more value to it control C and control V and I'm going to put here uh, make two so now let me create this table and let me execute this insert records into this now my question here to everyone is so let me do select star from my check now let me execute this now if I delete records from employee say for example you already know about identity column so identity column will start from one value and increment it with one one by one you don't need to uh, add that column when inserting the records now if I do this delete so say for example delete star from my check now if I execute this let me uh, let me do this now I don't need to give delete here only for select you need to give so if I delete this now if I insert this uh, again my text value can you guys guess what will be the value for first one identity is it 3 or is it 1 I deleted all the records I deleted all the records from the table so if you do select star from my check I don't have any records here okay 
and now I'm trying to add one record called Meghnath and I'm asking question what will be the value for the uh, value when I insert it'll be one or it'll be three so I got couple of answers from Isai and uh, Ilores and Shamila so how about others what do you think you guess uh, whether the value is inserted it is three or one so it is three because when you delete the records your identity column will try to continue so so if I insert this you can see that the identity column will be three okay so so here if you go to the Excel sheet this is one of the important point when you're using delete identity column will continue from where it ended okay so identity column will continue even if you delete the records it will continue from where it ended from drop drop means yeah no point of discussing this table will not be there so table itself is not there so no point of discussing about identity column table itself is not there and how about truncate ha huh, yeah here is important point so when you do truncate uh, what do you think the when I when I do here say for example truncate table my check so what do you think uh, truncate table my check so if I do this let do this now if I do insert into what do you think is the value from value for my text magnet is it 3 or it's 1 so definitely it is it is 1 now so that is the difference so truncate it will actually table will be there but everything else will be gone any triggers anything everything will be gone so that's about uh, that that's the difference between truncate and uh, drop so here it will reseed the identity so if you if you check here uh, it will it will reseed the identity reseed the identity value so reseed means it will start from one it will start from the first value again and fastness so so speed or so which one do you think is faster can you guys guess delete is faster or drop is faster or truncate is faster so uh, I got a first answer uh, uh, from which one do you think is fast so let's not compare with delete or drop because uh, drop is anyway removing table do you think delete is faster or truncate is faster drop is anyway it's okay drop is again table itself is getting deleted so one question you might get is which one is fast delete is fast or truncate is fast normally uh, normally I have a table when I'm firing a delete query which one do it uh, say for example let me go back here I have a table uh, say for example I have a table now my question is if I am doing truncate table my check or I'm doing delete uh, from my check so which one do you think will be faster truncate table uh, imagine I have 10,000 records I'm doing a uh, truncate table my check or I'm doing delete my check so which one do you think will be faster that's the question which I uh, which I asked so remember one thing truncate will be faster because now let me ask a question so do you think delete can be rolled back everyone do you think delete can be rolled back okay so I said everyone is telling yes delete can be rolled back if it can be rolled back from where do you think it can be rolled back so that means when you're doing some delete operation you have to save it somewhere in a transaction or somewhere you should have the backup then only you can roll back otherwise you cannot roll back so when you're doing delete it tries to save the log or it tries to put some data somewhere so that you can roll it back but when you're doing truncate know where you can roll back so it it doesn't try to save anything just remove from the table so so which one do you think will be faster delete or truncate can you said tell me now which one do you think is faster delete or truncate everyone please ping what do you think will be faster I got one answer from um, uh, Shamila so others uh, yeah I think most of you are right truncate will be faster when compared to delete so because no there is no backup mechanism there is no need to update l update any log files or something so so uh, slower than truncate and truncate is faster okay 
So now, uh, so we have seen uh, type, DML, structure of the table, which one will be there, can it be rolled back, identity column, speed, we have seen all the differences. So, so these are the differences which you have to keep in mind when you are talking about the differences between delete, drop and truncate. So any doubts in this, feel free to ask me and because this is one of the important topic. Okay. So now if let's any questions here? Um, anyone? Please ping me if it's clear the differences. And one more point, the last point. So using where condition. So do you think you can use the where condition for trunk for delete? Say for example you want to delete some ten records or you want to delete some five records based on some condition. So so we can use where condition. So you can use a where condition. Can use where condition. And in drop, so again this is again table table itself will not be there. So no point of where condition here. Now let me tell truncate. So do you think you can use where condition for truncate? So we cannot use where condition. So cannot use okay so these are the differences it belongs to which type it belongs to structure of table can be rolled back identity column speed okay now let me do one thing let me copy this let me paste it in the new sheet and now let me expand this now let me delete this so anyone wants to tell now one by one type and structure of the table can it be rolled back identity column speed and using where condition. So who wants to go ahead? Just two minutes you have to quickly tell me the differences uh, and we can go to the next topic of uh, which is joints. So who wants to go ahead? I will help you in case if you, uh, if you get any confusion here. Yeah. So who wants to go ahead? Okay Sharmila wants to go ahead. Let me unmute. Yeah Sharmila go ahead. First one type. So, so delete is a DML command. Okay and drop is ddl okay and truncate is also ddl perfect okay now after delete uh, table will be there or will not be there table will be there but records will not be there so records will be deleted from the delete command okay and depending on using where condition whatever only those records will be deleted how about drop yes. table will be there there will not be a table ddl i mean uh, and, truncate yeah there will be a table okay coming to can it be rolled back delete yes drop yes drop no truncate truncate no okay identity column after delete uh, when you try to uh, insert will it ins it will start from where it ended perfect and how about drop and uh, since there is no table will be available so okay no need of identity column and truncate it's it will recede from start from the identity column like it starts from the beginning like no, it starts from the number one column perfect speed which one is faster speed a truncate is faster than delete why uh, because in delete command some of the data will be saved not data so records will be saved somewhere so that we can roll back it but whereas in case of truncate uh, the whole data will be gone so we cannot roll back so that's why it is faster okay truncate is faster than delete perfect using where condition where you can use where and where you cannot use uh, we can use where condition in delete command but not drop and truncate perfect yeah Thanks. thank you very much Shamla. i think it's very clear yeah okay okay so uh, very good explanation about the differences I think this will stay in your mind forever so uh, okay so now let's move ahead to the next topic uh, also you can research to find some more topics which you can find the differences between them and in case if you think uh, you find any important information just drop a mail to me I'll include it from the next batch here so these are the differences between delete drop and truncate so now let's move ahead for the next topic of our uh, today uh, which is like joins in SQL server now so I'm going to create a table employee and I'm going to create a table called address 
to learn about joints so so let me copy this table employee and and now let me again copy one more uh, table which I have here uh, which is address so copy this I'll be sending this document for you after the class so you have to practice this before next class so now let me create this table employee and let me create another table called address so let me create this now so I have two tables I have not normally when you are creating a table it's good practice to have a primary key or foreign key references whatever it is but since our uh, focus area is to discuss on joins I have not showed more more interest on primary key foreign key and all because we have already discussed uh, how to create primary key and how to create foreign key references and all so so that's the reason why I have not included here uh, the primary key or identity column I have not included here now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some records for the table employee and address so I have that uh, in in this uh, sheet so I'm going to add some records so let me copy this and let me put a new query paste it and I think I copied something missing here so let me copy this again let me copy this and let me paste it here okay so you can notice here the address is since the address is a keyword it's showing in blue color so normally you should not give uh, you should not give um, keywords as the table names so I think we already discussed say for example uh, you should not give the table name itself as insert or update so so you should not give the table name like this so it's not a good uh, so imagine you have a requirement where you have to give the table name itself as insert okay so in that case what you have to do you know you cannot do like this create table insert or something like this you cannot do because it's a keyword it's a SQL server keyword you should not use it but in case if you really need it if you have some definite requirement where you have to give the table name as one of the keyword you have to put them inside square brackets then your SQL server will understand like okay okay they are creating a table name itself as insert and you can give here dummy and varchar20 and and if you see here see now I'm going to execute this I can create the table so so I don't need to give I have semicolon so now if I execute this I can create the table but it's not a good practice to use uh, table name as keywords okay just keep in mind so now let me remove this this is one of the question which I got asked in an interview so I thought of adding that point here so so in case if you want to add a table name with some keyword just put inside square brackets so you can see here let me refresh this tables and you can see that the table name insert is there dbo.insert okay now let me add some recordings so I think I created the table so let's see how many records I have added select star from employee and select star from address let me put here from so let me execute this so I have not inserted any records so let me add here uh, say for example this is state so let me let me add here um, uh, so this can be Tirupati and let me add here um, Kolkata or let me put here something uh, let me put here Chandigarh okay whatever it is so now let me try to uh, let me try to create this uh, uh, data let me try to add this data so now I'm going to add first into employee table and then I'm going to add next into um, into this address table so now if I do select star from both the tables you can see that I have four records in employee table and I have three records in address table so this shows that the employee 4 is not filled the address yet he's yet to fill the address so only so we have four employees in the company and three of the employees have already filled the fill their address and you are seeing that in address table and one student uh, Amar uh, one employee Amar has not filled the address now now let's try to understand uh, let's try to understand how to write a join okay now imagine if someone asks you uh, which state uh, which city is uh, is Ravi belongs to so ideally you cannot tell it from this table which city Ravi belongs to or you cannot tell it from this table which city Ravi belongs to so you can tell only if you refer both the tables 
how do you know employee ID of Ravi? You have to refer this table. Okay, Ravi employee ID is 1. 